Hello, Interior Alaska. No, it's not Snoop Dogg. It's Scoop Dogg here for the sports. Let's uh, get started. Let's start off by snooping the Gold Panners recap from last night. Now, the Gold Panners strike again in the ABL Wednesday night at Mulcahy Stadium in Anchorage. Eric Hutting, who hit two for four at the plate, had a big night for the Panners right off the bat, hitting homer twice against the Pilots along with Brandon Caruso and Vaughn Bozoian, <laughs> who homered once to help increase the Panners' lead. Now, not only was it a home run derby for the Panners, they also were able to capitalize on the mound as their starring pitcher, Jace Puckett, the left-handed junior, throwing a one-hit shutout for five innings. By the sixth inning, Panners had a comfortable lead, six to nothing, but the Panners didn't slow down at the plate. Jacob Hayes singled, then later came home on Vaughn Bozoian. There, you got it. Eighth home run of 2014. A hitting continued to shine for the Panners, wrapping up the win in the ninth, hitting a two-run shot, making that his third homer of the season. Panners remain in first place in the ABL American League to 18-7 and seven league and 30-8 and eight overall. The Gold Panners now hand to Kenai for a three-day four-game series starting tonight at 6 p.m. against the Kenai Peninsula Oilers at Coral Seymour Memorial Park. The Alaska Nanox Athletic Programs received a number of academic awards for the 2013-2014 season, and UAF continues to add to its trophy case. Recently, the men's cross-country team was recognized by the GNAC for having their second-highest combined team-grade point average in their sport. UAF's 3.31 GPA was second to St. Martin's by .04. Michael Fehrenbach led six GNAC all-academic UAF runners with a 4.0 GPA. The volleyball team also had a 3.31 GPA, which was third best behind Central Washington and Seattle Pacific. Alaska had four GNAC all-academic players, and Carrie Knight, the top GPA, a 3.85 in her senior year. UAF also had 16 student athletes named GNAC faculty athletic representative scholar athletes. Fehrenbach and Madeline Pfeiffer led all nooks with their 4.0s. Nine out of Alaska's 10 athletic programs were represented among the 16 selections. Now, five students were three-time winners of this award and seven repeated as far scholar athletes. Now, for the full list, you can visit webcenter11.com sports page. Now, listen up, young people who want to learn how to play the game of golf. Starting next week, the North Star Golf Club is holding a youth golfing camp for ages 5 through 17. The cost is $125 per child, first come, first serve, and they must register by Monday, July 28th. You can register by going to the North Star Clubhouse or online at northstarclub.com. Bernie Stump, the golf pro, explains about the camp and some special equipment they use to help teach children. Basically, it's to teach kids, you know, golf and the golf swing. And to do it, uh, we use snag equipment and it's special clubs made for kids so they can understand loft and hitting tennis balls. And we play games with this, and with these games, they don't realize they're learning, but they're learning a lot about swing path and how to get the ball up in the air. The price per child also includes all equipment along with snacks and drinks. For more information, you can call North Star Golf Club at 457-4653. Well, there are 76 competitors competing in this year's Jose Body and Paint Fairbanks Golf Association Amateur Championship. The tournament opens at 2 p.m. at the Fairbanks Golf Course. The tournament continues through the weekend with the second round on Saturday starting at 9 a.m. at North Star Golf Club. Now, the final round of the tournament begins is, starts Sunday at 9 a.m. as well as the Chena Bend Golf Course that's located in Fort Wainwright. Now, the final round of the tournament on Sunday will feature a shotgun start. Golfers will pick their own tee times after the first round on Friday. And stay tuned this weekend for scores and updates of the tournament on KTVF 11 Sports. Now listen up Raceway fans of North Pole Speedway. Due to weather conditions, tonight's races have been canceled. Mm. And that will wrap it up for sports tonight. Thanks for sticking around a little bit. For more on KTVF Sports, log on to Twitter, YouTube, WebCenter11.com and download our mobile app. And stay cool, Alaska, with all the rain out this way for the golf tournament this weekend. It's not going to look that good. All right, Mike Schultz has your full weather forecast coming up next. We'll catch you next time.